welcome to Cash or Trash, the episode where we review multiple craft kits to make sure that I waste my money and you don't. Joining me today is my sister Sika. She looks absolutely sweet, but she is in fact way saltier than I am. Hmm. Don't prove them wrong by leaning on me because that's just cute. Aww. <laughs> Today we're going to be looking at nine items from VAT19. For those of you who don't know, VAT19 is a website that basically scours the internet, they find cool products, and then they offer it on their own website. When you said scours the internet, I was thinking of a T-Rex, like, scouring. Is that scouring? How is that noise coming out of your mouth? Oh, I did it! <laughs> I think it's because of our brothers. What are we think? Yeah, yeah, our brother loved doing the pterodactyl. <laughs> So I kind of just picked it up from him. <laughs> Genetics. <Yeah. laughs> the good thing about this website, by the way, not sponsored, not affiliated, but if you're looking for cool gifts, they do have them. However, I do recommend searching for the exact same items. Sometimes on the Walmart website, they have it cheaper. So depends on the item. But if you're looking for convenience, yeah, they're there. So I know you grains absolutely want me to feed Sika. So today we're going to be testing nine food items. Are you ready? Nine, that's a lot. Nine food. They're all food? All food and beverage. Does that mean I get to bring some home? If you actually want to. Oh. You might not want to ever taste them again. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned and find out. I'm scared. <laughs> so the fun thing is that you grains can actually see the things that I got because, you know, I recorded it and she didn't see it. But she has no idea what we're going to be tasting. So let me know in the comment section below which item do you think is going to be the most gross. Oh. <laughs> I'm thinking that item number three is going to be the most gross. What are you doing? I'm putting candy. What? It's M&M caramel. Have you ever had them? No. <laughs> oh! Watch your mouth! They're really good. Watch your mouth! <laughs> I love caramel. How did you finish it? I'm still on the same one. I'm about to add two more. <laughs> it's so chewy. <laughs> So I sent her up for just a few seconds, and the first item is a candy dispenser. That's basically why we have all this candy. She's very excited about it, but she has no idea that we're just 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 testing out candy dispenser. It looks so cool. And now we're getting into the weird things, which is weird flavored soda. We have sweet corn, ranch dressing that has a milky look to it. it bacon, pumpkin pie, buffalo wings, peanut butter and jelly. And then the last two items technically look pretty delicious, but I guess we'll find out how they really taste. By the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, otherwise I will wave a sharp pointy thing at you, and it seems like Sika wants it. While you're there, make sure you click on all notifications. She's dangerous. She's dangerous. I'm coming for you. Whoa. Well, don't you talk to my subscribers. Like I will bite you. I was coming for you. Oh. Not them. Hello, you. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh, you gave it up pretty easily. Yeah, because there's candy. <laughs> That's all it takes. You want to disarm Sika? Offer her candy. Or any kind of food. Puts in food. Mm. Puts in. I see every time she says it, it just shows up on screen. Puts in. Stop it. <laughs> puts in, puts in. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Our first item, a motion activated candy dispenser. So I just got, oh, so it's like perfect for, you just like motion. What she meant is it's perfect for oh, yeah, indoors <laughs> when you don't want anyone to touch it. That's the word she's using and we bleeped it. It's the, the quarantine dispenser. I forgot. Yeah, we don't use that word on this channel because YouTube does not like it. My bad. So at $43, we can see from their own website, they do give demonstrations of the product and I really love their sense of humor on that. 19 so this is absolutely wonderful it seems like it would be a good centerpiece just to distribute things in a fun way candy not things it's candy dispenser candy dispenser mm. but in order to do a proper review we have to see what's inside <gasps> ah, that was my butt <laughs> Oh, was my knife yeah. that fell? You know, it was so close to your toes. Ooh. That's why I reacted and you didn't react. You're like totally in. Whoa! <laughs> and here it is. It is absolutely adorable. It's pretty small. I mean, I know I have shovel hands. I think it's the size of my head. Yeah, I look. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Where's Sika? Where's Sika? Oh, oh no. <laughs> Can I just like hold it like this? And because it's motion center, be just like. Oh yeah, we're gonna do that. <laughs> we're gonna feed ourselves with this. So as you can see, we have the little spout, there's the mechanism on the inside, but it also offers four different serving sizes. We have little, 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 and we have a bowl, and we have a big bowl. Oh, oh, thank you for the demonstration, Sika. Let's see that again. And we have a big bowl. <laughs> 
According to the instructions, we cannot put gummy bears or salted stuff or things with weird shapes. So they really have to be either M and M, Skittles, oh, jelly no, beans. But like these are weird shaped jelly bellies. I think they should be fine. We'll find out. But you know what's time to do? Batteries. So now we're going to put our first candy. Sika, which one do you want to start with? M&M's, Skittles, or Jelly Beans? Actually, let's leave Jelly Beans to the last. Oh. To the last. Instead of for the last. Instead of for the end? English number one. Okay, no bye. What? Bye English, goodbye. Oh, bye. Really left. Yeah. Oh, wow, we're, we're doomed. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That's the only word you can say now. <laughs> okay, so let's do the doing. So two bags of 191 grams fills you up to about this much. And you still have a lot of space. So you could make a pretty good medley. No, child, no. <laughs> what are you doing? So what Sika just did reminded me of pets that have automatic feeders. Yeah, they're wall. And yeah, that huge bite, oh my God. Like why? You know you're gonna get it. Just be patient. No, it's no, it's portioned. I don't want to portion. it. You be free. No. Okay. I just told you be free. No, why, why you gotta fight me on yeah. everything? You're always ready to fight me. Yeah, because you're my sister and that's what we do. We fight. It's just got a point. <laughs> All right, so the first setting we're going to try is the smallest bit. And we're going to see how well the motion sensor works. works. Yeah, I'm really curious about motion sensing. So as we showed you grains, we're going to start with this one here. And then we're going to make our way down. So remember these settings because I'm not going to show them again. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you. This is like baby hands, mm -hmm. man hands. You mean my hands, shovel hands. Small, uh, small bowl and cereal bowl. So we're gonna Soup find. We're, we're gonna find out. All right. So here we go with the first setting. <gasps> Turn it around. Don't touch, Sika. Not yet. Why is it making all that noise? It's just calibrating. All right. So Sika stood up, which means that salt is getting real. You ready, Sika? Yeah. Ah. Okay. That is a nice small, small portion. portion. Ah! Don't eat it off the floor. Why? I have resin things. I don't care. See, I touched it already with my sock. It's gross. Jackie, I used to eat gum out of your mouth. It's true <laughs> and it's gross. <laughs> so now we're going to go for a bigger portion, the one under. Oh, so it's... Okay, so it's like three oh portions. Oh my gosh. But it basically gives you three portions in of order. Of small. Yeah, of the small one. That's cute. All right, now smart people will use a bowl to experiment, but Sika wants- Are you wants... me stupid? You didn't let me- You didn't let me finish smart my people. sentence. But Sika <laughs> wants to use her hands to see how small a small bowl is, but we're gonna put it back in here to show you grains. Ready? All right, ready? Yeah, I already switched the level. Go for it. One. <laughs> That's it? Oh. Oh, oh, what is it doing? I think it's broken. All right, so Why we're back and we put everything back inside so that we don't have the issue of not enough. So let's try with the bowl. Maybe it really wants a bowl. Is that it? It looks exactly like the same portion as just a big portion, right? Yeah, it seems about the same. Okay, let's try a bigger bowl. That is significantly way more than the small bowl. Is it gonna stop? Should I pull away? No. What's happening? Oh my god. It's, is it Look emptying it? it? Yeah, it's emptying it. Oh my god. Uh, pull away. And we'll See what happened? Pull away. Oh. Do you want to try that again? Like if I yeah, pull away let's earlier? Try that. Oh, you're covering my face. Sorry. Let's try the small bowl again. I really want to see if that's gonna work. All right, so test number two with this bowl. And this is the small size. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna put this over here. I'm gonna try the big portion for the hand, which is one right above. Okay. That was a small one before. Okay, let's try the small one now. Okay, now the small portion. What's happening? The portions I don't know. are all weird now. Yeah, I feel like the portions are just, they don't make any sense. So now we're into the grams. So this is a small portion. It gives us 14.97. Here's the medium portion. That's it? Okay. Even less? Oh, that's weird. Small bowl portion. 28. So that's double, right? Of the first one. Yeah. Yeah. And then for the final one, which is the biggest one. Wow. It just, it just keeps going, doesn't it? I think this is free. Like you take how much you want. Move. Oh. Yeah, I think. Oh, oh. 
So it seems like the big bowl is actually a free service. So as long as you have it there, the sensor is going to keep dispensing. So from what we've deducted is that the portion is 14, 18, and 28. So there really isn't a huge difference from the small hand to the big hand. Also, the sensor is a small bowl. It's double the portion of the first one. Yeah, but for a small bowl, it's just double the hand. So I thought the 14, was it 14, 18, 24, or 28? Mm -hmm. Should have been like 14, 28, because I feel like that fits in your hand. Yeah. You know? True. And then like 56 for a small bowl, yeah. Yeah, and then the freestyle. Yeah, because I think one portion of these is like about 40 grams, 30 to 40 grams. So it should be, a small bowl should be the portion of the candy in a sense, right? Do you get me? Do you get me? Do you get me? Wow, okay. <laughs> off camera, the sensor is a little wonky. Here's what happened off camera. You okay, Jackie? Oh. Yeah, it's just everything keeps falling the sensor. Just falling the sensor? <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, there's like a candy that's in there. What? Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> it keeps threatening you. Mm. Okay, we're good. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> but as we mentioned, we were also going to do something fun with it. Sika, open your mouth. <laughs> Oh, you want more? Yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> now for M&M's. In here we have a mixture of the caramel as well as the peanut butter M&M's. So I'm kind of worried if the peanut butter one is going to be too quote unquote soft. And here's the first portion, which is the small hand. Go ahead, Sika. Oh, go is ahead. it too big of a candy? Interesting. So we're getting 10 grams. Second hand. One gram more. And now for the tiny bowl. Do you think the candy's too big? I think the candy might be too big. All right, so it seems like this machine does not like stuffed M&Ms because it's breaking them and it's really struggling to get them out. So from what it seems, only regular M&Ms should be good enough. This machine just can't take it. That is really disappointing. <laughs> Not disappointing for Sika. I still got candy. Yeah. <laughs> and last but not least, some deformed jelly bellies because they're called belly flops. We only had one pack, so this is what it looks like. It's 120 grams. Yeah, so let's see how much we're going to get in the small portion. Okay. <laughs> oh man. So seven grams for this one. Six. Six. <laughs> and here we go with the second size. Oh, this one is at 15, so about double the size, which is what I would have expected from the other one, too. And now for the small bowl. Okay, is that a half jelly bean? Yeah. Just the 17, almost 18, not that much of a difference. And so our last test is going to be putting all three different types and seeing how well it can actually dispense. I think just because we put the M&Ms in there, it's gonna struggle. But either way, it was struggling and it wasn't consistent in terms of the portions. So that's already a minus. Time to test it. Let's do the small bowl. Go for it. Okay. Ah, better than usual. Yeah. So maybe it's better when you do mix the candies. Maybe it's better when it's heavier on top. Oh, if you put like more stuff? Yeah. What? Nothing. I'm heavy on top. Yeah, you are heavy on top. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so we put in all the candy that we have and let's dispense one last time. Here's the tiny bowl portion. Yeah. I feel like this is a lot better. Yeah, definitely a lot better. I think the heavier, the better it goes. So what's our verdict with this candy dispenser? Skeptical? Yeah, I would definitely say skeptical cash. It doesn't disperse evenly. The portions don't make sense. It also has quite a bit of an issue when it comes to a slightly larger candy. So if we would have gotten regular M&Ms, I think it would have been okay. Anything larger than a jelly bean, it just it struggles and breaks it. It had a little bit of a funny sound. So again, we're gonna stick with our verdict of skeptical, skeptical cash. For the next review, Sika has no idea again what it is and we're going to need a bottle opener. Sika, wait for me here. Can I peek? No, no, get it. Get it. But what if I start tickling you? No, ow, ow. Don't look. Juice. Stop it. Okay, and bacon soda. Ew, it's gonna be salty. I hope so. It's bacon. Y'all get your fixins.
So the reason I picked up these kinds of food items, because sometimes you want to just give a gift to someone who likes weird things, or someone's like, get me something I've never had before. This could be really interesting, especially if it does taste like the thing Ew. it says it does. So we're gonna do a sniff test first. Imagine it's greasy. No, that would it be- It just oil. No, that would be Blech. gross. I don't think it would be soda. <laughs> okay, gross. Sika, you ready? No. Hang on. So you want to take the first sniff for me? You can sniff at the same time. Okay, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Ew, it smells weird. It doesn't smell like much, really. It smells weird. It smells smoky. It gets... Yeah, now that you say it, it has like this maybe there's barbecue at so, yeah, like five like neighbors smoky... away. Yeah, exactly. Interesting. All right, so Sika wants to drink from this. I will drink from a bowl because we're both just too darn lazy. To get up and get us. <laughs> Um, a cup. Well, a spoon. I was oh, cup. wow. Look how Yo. fizzy that is. Ugh. And I hate fizzy too. Oh, do you? Yeah. It's not that. It makes me cry. Don't cry. He's Ready? Dirty. No. Oh, oh, now that it's in a bowl, it smells even extra. It smells gross. Yeah, it has like it this like an acid reflux. <laughs> yeah, it smells like acid reflux. Ew. <laughs> I hope it tastes better than it smells. You ready? No. For science. No. For science. Okay, go. I have goosebumps. Uh. <laughs> oh, what is that? Did you just spit? Yeah. Spitters are quitters. It tastes like bacon that was dipped in a pool. A pool? Yeah, it tastes like, um... Chlorine? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Ew. I taste it now. Oh, that is gross. But it doesn't really taste like bacon. You know how there's bacon candy, bacon flavored other things? It mostly tastes like barbecued swimming pool. Are you changing the flavor? Yeah. This was probably one of the least gross. Least? Mm-hmm. Are you kidding me? Oh, watch your mouth! <laughs> I would say in terms of novelty and fun factor and flavor, I'm going to give the bacon a 1 on 10. Novelty, I'd say like 6, because you know, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. Taste is like 0, it's <laughs> nasty. Whoa! I mean, yeah, that'd be cool, but the taste is <laughs> gross. Yeah, w child, you watch your mouth! No. No, not when you put me in these kinds of things, no. Next thing I'm going to pull out is the one I think I told you grains, I think is the yeah, most gross. Three. Let's pull out the third one. Don't look, stop it. It's a milky color. Ranch dressing soda. Sika? I'm not paid enough for this. Do you love me? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Did you change your mind about me? I don't love you anymore. No, you have to love me. I think I threw up a little in my mouth. Don't do it. I'm pretty sure these are twisties. Nope. I feel like I'm gonna get hit in nope, the face. No, they're not twisties. You ready? Yeah. Oh, it smells really sour. Oh, it smells like feet. No, I don't want to drink it. I don't want to... <coughs> oh, it smells like vomit. Oh, no. It smells so bad I started to drool. Is that normal? <laughs> it smells like vomit. It smells like really bad. It smells so bad. It smells like I'm not digesting and I puke. <laughs> Wait, there's an undertone of caramel. No. I don't want to! <laughs> you have to try it! No, I'm gonna Drink have a tantrum! No, I'm gonna have a tantrum like when I was a kid. I'm gonna hold the door frame. Like, no! And I'm gonna pull you by your feet. No, I'm too heavy now. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna pour a little. We're drinking this. No, 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 no! Do you want the bowl? No. Do you get the bowl or this? Not when it's easier to control how much I'm drinking. Okay. <laughs> One no. last sniff. No! Jackie, no! <laughs> To be fair though, ranch dressing does have this sour smell. Jackie, it smells like vomit. It smells like when I can't you ready? digest and my gastro is like, hey, all this acid is, and then I puke and that's what it smells like. Okay, then don't drink it. I'll do it. I'll do it alone. I'm not, okay? I'm sorry. I can't do it. Uh, that's fine. That's okay. No, no try. that's fine. <laughs> I'm trying to accommodate you. You ready? Okay, you ready? Okay. Oh, oh you're shaking. Yeah. Oh, honey. Okay, ready? ready? Yeah. Go. Go. <laughs> How did you manage to get it all over your face? No! It's um. <laughs> While Sika goes to wash up, this is gross. Like, I thought they would taste kind of like the thing, but they don't even taste anywhere near the thing. You okay, Sika? No! This is gross. I, so I figure this would probably be the most gross. It's in my eye. Everything else should taste better from now on. I give this a 0 on 10. Can I give it a minus 8? Sure. Okay. So we've had a little bit of a breather. <laughs> I asked Sika if she wants to do something good and then gross again, and she said... Might as well get rid of the gross. So we're gonna go for another gross. So the next one is... <clears throat> chicken wings. Okay. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> it sounded like a good idea when I was ordering it. So one of the remarks that Sika made is that these entire bottles are like 170 calories, but I really don't are see anyone. All, yeah. I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah the ranch one was 170. I don't see myself drinking that. I don't so see any calories. I'm sorry. Unless it's a dare or some kind of bet. I would never finish a bottle. The funny thing about this is that it's like a neon orange. So you ready to take a sniff? Oh, it smells like... It smells like orange. Right? Is it just me? Are we being tricked by the color? Because it smells a little sweet. Yeah. I'm gonna pour some for myself. Here you go, Sika. They honestly all smelled like acid reflux for some reason. <laughs> they all do. Ready? Ready? Not as bad as the other ones, but it does just taste like a swimming pool. A lot of them taste like laxatives that they give you in the hospital. But it's not even a good like laxatives sweetness. Laxatives don't taste good. No, but I mean it's not like a good flavor to it. It doesn't taste like chicken wings. It's like a got a weird bitter taste in the back. It's so weird. Yeah, but no, it tastes like a lot of laxatives at the hospital does. Yeah, because at least when it comes to Jelly Belly, when they do the Harry Potter flavors, they're still not bad. They're still kind of sweet in a sense, except for the vomit. That one's bad. Yeah, but they do taste like the thing they said <laughs> it would taste like. These ones don't. No. I don't they just taste like acidic and weird and like yeah i would still give this a one which one do you think is better this one or the bacon i think this one yeah i think yeah. this one tastes better sika i'm very proud of you you've held up so far we have one last gross one i'm gonna cry this, it shouldn't be as bad as the rest okay we've seen this at the vending machine in japan not this specific one but this flavor okay can you guess is it corn it is corn. I f knew it. Oh, corn. watch your mouth! Sorry. Actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> what? No, you're not sorry. <laughs> I should be sorry. I'm putting you through this. Yeah, corn makes me a little less, like, iffy. Yeah, so this one here is corn soda. I'm hoping, again, it doesn't just taste like acid or swimming pool and it has this sweet flavor of corn maybe you know how you have the canned corn and there's like the water that comes from it yeah i would be okay with that yeah that wouldn't be so bad well i don't like fizzy very much so it'd be weird fizzy but yeah no i understand what you mean yeah i would be okay with that <laughs> oh wow i didn't even finish opening it do you smell it no it smells like butter corn does it yeah yeah Oh, sh yeah. Oh, wow. Sorry. It, that one actually smells nice. Yeah, it's this actually smells like it's supposed 100% smells like a corn on the cob with a little bit of butter on it. Just from the smell, I'm already a little bit more hopeful. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I'm okay with this one. Okay, let's like pour corn. some for me. I love corn. I could live off of corn. You know what sucks about corn? What? You don't own it. You only borrow it. Oh, that's true. I was like, <laughs> why is... Ah. Ah. <laughs> you only right, borrow yeah, it. I see, I see where this is going. <laughs> Just from the smell, it's a lot less gross. It's obviously still liquid form, but it smells less unpleasant. It smells like buttery corn. Right? That's yeah. exactly. Okay, ready? ready? Go. Oh. Mm. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's fizzy corn water. In terms of novelty, flavor, and what it advertises, I'd probably give it like seven or eight. Yeah, I would mm. definitely give it up between a seven and eight, also. So I would say seven point five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly what it says it's supposed to be. So oh, it's made with pure cane sugar. All of them are. Oh wow, they're really good. Mm -hmm. Well, this one's really good. No, the, well, not I, I still wouldn't drink the entire thing. No, but I took a second sip if that's saying something. That's good. So if your brains are looking for novelty so far, this Sweet is the only one. one yeah, like so it. far. And then the next one is something I I think we both absolutely like which is peanut butter and jelly <gasps> you excited about yeah. that one? I'm still skeptical because it might be a little difficult probably... being able to get peanut butter and, and jelly. jelly so unless they really focused on getting those flavors spot on without putting peanut butter I don't know how they're gonna be doing that you're excited I like peanut butter and jelly a lot. I really hope so oh that one came off easy getting good at it Interesting. It smells like strawberry. Yeah, it smells like strawberry. Hmm. And the picture. It looks so good. Yeah, the picture I'm looks like so melty. I love peanut butter jelly. <laughs> when I get really bad cravings of sweet and salty, I put peanut butter and jelly, but I also... Don't say pickle. No. No, <laughs> egg. Yeah, egg and cheese, but like, uh, egg. Egg, cheese, and peanut butter? And jelly. It's really good. <laughs> so no. what you do is you get like a uh, regular egg, you crack it in the pan, you break the yellow so it cooks properly, and then you put cheese on it to melt it, and then you put a peanut butter and jelly, and then you put it all in together. No, honey. It's so good. No. I'm salivating so good. Where did you even get that from? My roommate. <laughs> oh, wow. Back then. <laughs> Let us grades know in the comment section below. Do you it's... have a flavor that you like, but other people are like, no, I would never do that? Well, it's like when I eat cheese and mayo and pickle sandwich. No, that sounds delicious. It's so good. I'm drooling. Okay, hang on. Yeah, so it smells very strawberry-ish. Or when I eat sweet corn with mayo and cheese melted. It's so good. Zika has a very varied flavor profile. This is probably why I have stark problems. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah, go. 
You can kind of taste the peanut butter. It's, it's a little weird, the taste, but you can taste the peanut butter in the background. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit there. It's kind of there. It mostly tastes like strawberry. Yeah, it's really the back. There's like a little bit of peanut butter. Very, very little. But there's also a side flavor of Play-Doh. The back, yeah. I right? It, yeah. I still think the corn is so far good. The best one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would probably give the like peanut butter jelly. Six. Yeah, yeah. For me, it's between a four and a five. Yeah, I give it five or six. So this is like we can go on five. Yeah, between four, five, six. And we five. agree on five. Yes. And now for the last one, Sika, are you excited about this one? I am really excited. I think this is one it custard. No, but it should be like I would say either nine on ten or ten on ten. If they they can't mess it up, honestly, because Have it you already tried it before. No. Okay. But I've had similar ones okay, also try in Japan. See what it is. Okay, it is pumpkin pie. Okay. Why are you skeptical? Because I'm not a huge fan of pumpkin pie. Oh. Well, I don't like like spunk and spice. Spunk and spice. <laughs> spunk and spice. I'm not a huge fan of sp sp <laughs> honey. Pumpkin spice is what I wanted to say. <laughs> it's not happening. Remember English? Yeah, we did. Away. That's true. Rewind. Like, just let's English. recap. It flew away and it was gone. And now it's it's. Yeah. As I was saying, this one is really hard to mess up because they already have pumpkin flavoring Stuff. for soda. Yeah. So, oh, oh, smell it. I already smell it. It smells like pumpkin latte. Oh, yeah, it smells like pumpkin spice. Pumpkin. <laughs> you really can't say pumpkin spice, huh? You want to try again? Okay. Go ahead. Pumpkin spice. Good girl. I had to think of it really hard. <laughs> I really had to concentrate on it. I was like, okay, Jack, Jackie, wow, Jessica, <laughs> like concentrate. <laughs> Oh! I can't do this. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna yeah. pour some for myself. Here's my smumpkin mice. Here's spunkin mice. Spunkin mice. It smells good. Yeah, it, it legitimately smells, smells like a pie. <laughs> What's wrong? How I come you can't say it? Spice. Ready? Yeah, let's go. Oh! Not bad. Oh, I don't Ooh. like the aftertaste. It just tastes like the spice part that you don't like. But it's not bad. Yeah. I think this, in terms of what it says it's going to taste like and what it tastes like, is basically what I predicted, which is an 8. I actually think out of all of them, the sweet corn is still the best. Really? I would say pumpkin and then sweet corn, and you say... Sweet corn, and then peanut butter jelly. Oh. Then pumpkin. But pumpkin poly does taste like what it's supposed to, it's just that I'm not a huge fan of that overly spiced part of it. So, in essence, if you like pumpkin pie, get the pumpkin pie. If, if you, you like, like sweet corn, get the sweet corn. But the other ones just don't taste anything. Peanut butter and jelly does, but it's not as good as you would want it to be. Play-Doh flavor. A little bit in the background. And as my thank you to Sika for enduring all this gross stuff, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Not sorry. Yeah, that's right. A I'm little thinking. bit of both. You have to let Bull me have a little honky. No, okay. Bull honky. I, I'll take the honky. We have lollipop pies. At $15 each, they are not cheap, but they were ranked as part of the highest kind of snack. Salted caramel flavored pumpkin pie. Right, and then we have salted caramel flavored apple pie. Why is salted caramel? I don't know, but they okay. come in pumpkin and pie. Okay. Which one do you want to try first? Apple. Okay. Let's see what we get. So it's not a lollipop, it's just an apple pie on a stick, right? Yeah, it's an apple pie on a stick. That's, oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> Hang on, let's show you grains a close up. And heck, while we're at it, let's open the pumpkin wow. ones. And as you can see, it looks really delicious. I have no idea what to expect, if it's going to be hard on the inside, yeah, if it's I'm going wondering. to be soft. It's probably going to be hard. It does smell like a nice pie, though. Oh. But it has this extra sugary smell to it. Yeah, so well, I don't know. it's salted everything. Everything's salted caramel, so it's a bit much, probably. It should have a little salt in it. How about you take the first bite? I, I've what made you suffer. if we take it like this? No, you go for it. <laughs> Is it pleasant? It's interesting. This has almost mm. like a chocolate texture. Oh! It's so fluffy. It's more like a... Um, There's pieces of apple in it. Is there? Yeah, look. That's what I'm chewing on right oh. now. So there is a small piece of apple in there, but the remainder... It's like a chocolate texture. Fudge? Yeah. Right? Like a sugar fudge. Yeah. Let me try the apple. Mm. Another piece right there if you want to try. Oh. That one's kind of sticking out a little more. Dried apples. Yeah. It's okay, but I don't think at $15. Yeah, it's not worth 15 bucks. No, especially you can actually just get though. a pie. Yeah. It's not mess free either. All right. And now for pumpkin, I think I'll take the first bite since I'm a huge pumpkin fan. I'm not sure oh, why. It doesn't smell like anything really. Oh, no. I'm not crazy about the super hyper neon orange sugar right on top, but I guess we'll see. Let's take a first bite and oh my god. Oh, it hum. sounds hard. Is it good? It still has that chocolatey, fudgy texture, but it does not taste like pumpkin. No. At all. I would give this... I actually like this one because it's not Really? Too, yeah. No, I would, I would give this like a 2 on 10. It definitely does not taste like pumpkin, mm -hmm. but it tastes good to me. 
disappoints. It's like chocolate in the middle. Mm -hmm. Probably like white chocolate based. Yeah, I don't like it. I think it's like the salted caramel they keep adding is changing it. But out of the two, I think the apple one is more authentic. Yeah, the apple one is definitely way more flavorful, but I still wouldn't pay $14 mm -mm. for any of them. Mm -mm. So for me, this would go in... It's skeptical. Okay. It still you... does taste good. Mm. In the, the trash. Skeptical cash. And then whatever we ranked lower than a five is trash. Garbage. Let us know in the comment section below if the one that you thought was the grossest is actually the one that got the most reaction from us. And don't forget to add me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I'm a little bit everywhere. And if you want to find Sika, you can find me on Instagram at nerdy sisters. So nerdy sisters underscore Sika. <laughs> yeah, it's on the screen because she messes it up. Tired. Motion Sen sensing? Sensing. Oh, sensor. Oh, sensor. <laughs> Such a weirdo. <laughs> you flinched. I flinched. If you want to watch the previous Cash or Trash, which is with Sika, you can make sure you check it up here. And if you want to watch me get a little crafty, make sure you check down here. Until then, we will see you grains in the next video.